So Jim Higgins with the Higgins Group joins us now, and we're talking about Johnson & Johnson, which actually just lost its third straight case when it comes to talcum powder and a link to ovarian cancer yeah. and a huge settlement, $70 million in this settlement? Yeah, about $65 million of that was punitive damages, which shows that the jury was just really angry at them. Okay, so why, why so high in this case here? Well, that's what it is. Whenever you see numbers like that, you've got a defendant, a lot of times a corporate defendant, where uh, and in this case, I think the jury said, hey, they were more worried about their pocketbook. They were more worried about profits than they were our safety. Mm -hmm. You know, and they had a very sympathetic, you know, they had a lady in this jury who had had uh, chemo. She's had surgery. She's probably not going to live. You're sitting there. You're, you're listening to her. You've got uh, scientists that have said for 40 years, and there's a big debate on the, on the science, but they had scientists that said for 40 years that there's a link to talcum powder and ovarian cancer. And why they really got mad at J&J at &J was because they started bringing out these memos and things that they did to not try to find out if that's true, not mm -hmm. try to see if it's accurate, but they really took a tack that was, let's do everything we can to prevent us from being regulated, to disprove this, you know, and, and protect our own pocketbooks instead of finding out if it's safe or now, not. Now, if you're not familiar with the case we're talking about, Johnson & Johnson, of course, this is a link to talcum powder. And mm -hmm. like you said, Johnson & Johnson almost tried to kind of prevent it and hide a little bit. So let mm -hmm. me ask you this. What happens now moving forward with Johnson & Johnson and this talcum powder link now? Well, you know, it's going to be interesting. There's about 2,000 cases pending right now. Mm -hmm. Our office is, is uh, in handling a couple of cases. There, what will happen is that the first case came out. It was just about as big. They said, hey, we're going to appeal it. Then the second case, now this third case. So mm -hmm. now they've got to start thinking, hey, wait a second. Maybe there's more to it. Maybe we should regroup. They're appealing these right now, but they're going to have to make a decision of do we resolve these mm -hmm. or do we risk a 50, 60 million dollar verdict, you know, coming out of these 2000 the cases every few months. Right. So they need to make a business decision and a PR decision for their clients and customers. Jim Higgins adding a little perspective. We appreciate the time, sir. Thank you, AJ.